Hello everyone, welcome to Legacy Ace Academy. In this video, we will be talking about the important indicator that is the agriculture and the manufacturing and how the Indian economy has been transforming itself and what does it mean by the structural transformation of Indian economy. And we will also be talking about a history of this, like when did it actually start and what is the significance of this structural transformation and where can we see Indian economy in next decade. So what is the context? Why are we even talking about the structural transformation of Indian economy? It's because of two reasons. Look, what happened here was <clears throat> there are two organizations which came out with their report. That is National Sample Survey Office and the National Statistical Office. This is the two important organizations which work under MOSP, the Ministry of Statistics and the Program Implementation. So this is the entire ministry which is dedicated to the data collection and data processing and also in order to come up with the recent data that are that are related to the Indian economy. <clears throat> so these two indicators that is National Sample Survey Office and the National Statistical Office came out with the data about the percentage of Indian population who are dependent on agriculture and the percentage of people who are dependent on manufacturing and how is it varying over the years. <clears throat> Let's look at what are the highlights of this particular report by NSSO and the National Sample Survey Office. <clears throat> you can see here the NSSO's latest PLFS, a very important report, Periodic Labour Force Survey. So for people who are preparing for 2023 prelims, that is May 28th, on May 28th, I recommend you to go through about the Periodic Labour Force Survey because it is in news. Okay, so who comes out with the Periodic Labour Force Survey? And is it dedicated to urban area or rural area or both? Okay, this is the second information that you will have to know. Is periodic labor force survey dedicated to urban area or rural area or both? And what is the frequency in which the PLFS report comes out? Is it, is it monthly? Is it bi-monthly? Or is it quarterly? Or is it yearly, annually or biannually? So you will have to know these three information about PLFS report. So the NSSO PLFS report for July and June, it said the percentage of Indian population who are depending on agriculture is 46.5%. It was 20, 2021 and now it is 45.5%, which means it is reduced by 1% for July, 20, Ju July to June 2021 and 22 compared to 20 and 2021. Okay, which means 45.5% of the Indian population are dependent on agriculture as of 2021 July. Okay, so this is the report. So let's look at <clears throat> the history for a bit. You can see here from 1993-94 to 2001 and 2002, 2021 and 22. Sorry, you can see here in 1993 and 94. 64.6 percent of the Indian population were dependent on agriculture whereas 2021 and 22 you can see it reduced to 45.5 percent which means almost 20 percent of the Indian population shifted from agriculture to the allied activities or manufacturing if you can assume as of now assume that the people left agriculture and started working in other sectors of the economy. Okay, this is what happened 64 percent to 45 percent, correct? See for any economy for that matter, for any economy for that matter, it goes through three stages. The first stage would be agriculture, the second stage would be manufacturing, third stage would be services. Every country or every economy has to traverse this particular straight line of agriculture, manufacturing and services, clear? So in India, what happened was as majority of the Indian population were dependent on agriculture before 1991, okay, before 1991, as soon as the LPG reforms began, as soon as the LPG, LPG reform started, the majority chunk of the population who were dependent on agriculture directly shifted their economic organization to services and not manufacturing and it is very much evident here. In 1993 and 94, it was 10.4% of the Indian population who were dependent on manufacturing, that is industry. In 2021 and 22, it just is as above as 11.6%, which means, which means around less than or around 1% increase in the last 25 years. Okay, in the last 25 years, just 1% of 
Indian population increased and joined manufacturing. Okay, in this, if this is the case, in the agriculture we can see twenty percent reduction, and in manufacturing we can see just one percent increase. And what happened to the rest? Nineteen percent of the population who came out of agriculture, if they did not manufacturing, if not did not join manufacturing, where did they go? The answer lies in the construction sector, which is booming. That is real estate. You can see. the construction sector has now become the second largest employer after agriculture okay so 19% of the people who were remaining we don't know where did they go all of them joined or the majority chunk of them joined construction construction was at number 4 before <clears throat> now the construction is just after agriculture as it employs the largest or the second largest percentage of the indian population the structural transformation hasn't just slowed it has stalled if not reversed there is not much labor transfer taking place this is something that we have discussed already i'm just putting it under a structured format taking place from farms to factories is not taking place this is what india has to look for the next decade the transformation should happen from farm to factories but here the transformation is happening from farm to unskilled and the semi skilled construction labor which is not sustainable so just imagine construction activity is just a boom it's like a bubble okay it it starts it remains for 5 years or 10 years on the line and it is stagnated and these people who are dependent on the construction activity cannot take over for their entire livelihood or they cannot they cannot depend on the construction for their entire lifetime so construction is something that acts like a bubble so any economy cannot just depend upon construction activities for its economic growth the manufacturing industry is the only way where the farm to factory migration should happen in a in a very sustainable way the jobs are getting generated outside agriculture are mostly in construction manufacturing has been relegated to the fourth spot this is what is happening when did when did it all start i've told you it all started with the lpg reforms as indian economy was majorly dependent on <coughs> agriculture before 1991 after lpg reforms because indian economy was split open or it was open to the world from agriculture directly indian economy became dependent on services and not manufacturing this is how the manufacturing was neglected in the last 25 to 30 years in india so this is when it actually started so if you have liked the video hit the like button please consider subscribing to the legacy is academy have a nice day thank you